Hello and welcome to this week's weekly roundup of the Chesterfield Post News. I'm Karen Johnson. Major news this week regarding jobs and investment in Chesterfield as the town continues its fast-paced programme of regeneration. First came news of a new look for Chesterfield's famous market stalls. They'll be given new covers which will tie in with the Destination Chesterfield logo already to beginning to appear on tourist facilities. Councillor John Burroughs, who's leader of the council, says that it's necessary as the market is a big attraction and a high-profile facility that should be used to promote Chesterfield. Major retailer Toys R Us opened its doors in Chesterfield earlier this week too, creating 40 jobs for local people, with more local trade also used to build and fit the store. Marketing manager Mike Coogan told us that they have wanted to come to Chesterfield for a while and are thrilled to be here. Meanwhile, Debenhams, another high street retailer, has also announced it's coming to town and will take its place on Ravenside Retail Park next autumn. It's also expected to bring a major boost to the jobs in the town too. It seems an awfully long way off, but a reminder that there is still time to make your applications for your child's secondary school place in 2012. The deadline for applications for next September is midnight on the 31st of October. Derbyshire Police are asking you to cast your mind back to the 1970s as they investigate an offence that happened in the early part of that decade. They would like to talk to a woman in her early teens or 20s at the time who helped to look after a horse at some makeshift stables near Chesterfield. The stables were on a caravan site and the horse was a chestnut and white Shire mare. If you recognise any of those details, please contact the police or Crime Stoppers. Bosses at Chesterfield Royal Hospital say that they are aware that the current upgrading of traffic lights at the front entrance of the hospital is causing disruption. They say that the work by Derbyshire County Council is expected to last two or three more weeks and that police have regulated the system after two accidents there already. Stagecoach has said that it will consider withdrawing buses from the site if the disruption continues. A spokeswoman is reminding residents that the hospital has no responsibility for the roadworks and says they've done everything they can to ensure the site is not inconvenienced. Sport now and tomorrow's game against Hartlepool at the B2 net will see the Spyrites back the Kick It Out campaign which continues to celebrate diversity and equality in football. Players will front this anti-racism message by wearing t-shirts during the warm-up bearing the message one game one community. And it's also been confirmed by the club that the Spyrites youth team will take on Tamworth in the first round of the FA Youth Cup. The match will be played at the B2 net on Tuesday the 25th of October. Kick off at 7 o'clock. For more details on these stories and more, check out our website www.chesterfieldpost.co.uk and I'll be back next week with another update.